so what, so what, so what, so <laughs> How y'all doing? It is currently half past seven in the morning and it has been a quite a while since I last posted a video, but today I am back and I'm here with a very special video for you people. Today is the 25th of April, 2020, and today I am participating in the Varos del Leca Remote Military March. You might ask, what the fuck is that? Hey, let's take a look. So here we are at the varostelecca.com homepage. Here you can see the event, which is Varostelecca's Remote Military March, 25th and 26th of April, 2020. And as we can see here, due to this current plague, all rock marches and field exercises have been canceled, at least here in Finland. So we decided to launch our very own Varostelecca's Remote Military March, VRMM. Plain and simple, each individual warrior executes their march according to our guidelines and shares the fun on social media, which I am doing right now. This way we can keep our rucking condition in top shape and bring some good vibes into these grim times. I could not agree more. All participants who complete the challenge and share it on social media will get the desired Varos de Lecas remote military march patch which we can see right here. And uh, they will raffle off uh, a 100 euro gift card and two 50 euro gift cards, which is very nice of them. Uh, we have three different divisions for this event. First one being military, BDU, uh, battle dress uniform, military boots, and at least 10 kilogram rucksack from start to finish. I don't have any battle dress uniform items, so I cannot participate in this specific division and as we can see in the last one same as the military division but wearing a gas mask throughout the route i don't have a gas mask either and as i said i don't have any military uh, related equipment either so the only division that i can really uh, go for is the open division which has no requirements for clothing and shoes and i must have at least a 10 kilogram rucksack from start to finish The march distance is 25 kilometers or 50 kilometers uh, routes according to own choices, but routes should contain both paved roads and off-road sections. Uh, the route should avoid areas which might be heavily crowded. Code of conduct alone or in small groups as we are doing this social distancing thing. I'm doing this alone. If possible, some sort of uh, trailing or GPS tracking would be nice share your experience on social media using these hashtags so yeah i am participating in the open uh division as i just said here it says that i must have a 10 kilogram rucksack with me at all times next let's go check out my rucksack that i have packed yesterday so technically this here is all that i actually need uh for today So here we have two bottles for soda stream. We have the drinking bladder or whatever that holds like around two liters of water. Uh, another pair of socks, cool print, bro. Uh, you need to have a knife when you go on a march just for the reasons and the sakes of things. Two power banks uh, because uh, reasons <laughs> and Sun Tzu, the art of war. Nice. But you might understand that this stuff right here, it's not going to add up to 10 kilograms and you are very correct it's not it's about two kilograms that i actually need uh, for today so due to this we need some additional things with us the first thing that i'm going to take with me in addition to the stuff that i actually need is a six kilogram kettlebell so this takes us up to eight kilograms i'm also going to take a kilogram of sugar with me because we need sugar Actually, I just need kilograms, but hey, sugar, kilograms. Six kilogram kettlebell, two bottles for water, um, two pair of socks, bladder, knife, two power banks, one kilogram of sugar, Sun Tzu, the art of war, and the shirts. And those are the shoes that I'm going to use uh, for the march. Uh, just basic combat boots from Sievi. They look horrendous. I should do something about them, but I can't be asked right now. It's very early, so I'm just gonna yeet. 
Now you still might be thinking that you are forgetting the most important equipment that you are going to need for this march, which is the actual bag where you're going to put all this stuff. And for that, I have selected a very special item, which is going to help me get through this day. Uh, <laughs> the bag that I have chosen to go with is this. The Veshmesh Hawk, or however you pronounce it. This bag is probably the worst bag that money can buy. Uh, it's an old Russian military bag. And uh, when this thing was invented, ergonomy was not a thing. Ergonomy? Ergonomy? Ergonomics. However you pronounce it, I don't care. It is absolutely disgusting. It will kill my shoulders and my back, especially when I have a six kilogram kettlebell just, you know, killing my lower back throughout the whole 25 kilometers. But well, what you gonna do? This is the only thing that is remotely military related in my whole arsenal of equipment. So I had to include it in there. And it's also gonna make this a bit tad more interesting, but it is going to kill my shoulders. Let's put it together. It's all packed. And now if we weigh this monstrosity, it comes out at 9999 kilograms. So very close to 10 kilograms, as it says in the instructions for this march. This is like the base of 10 kilograms. So in addition to this, I will uh, fill all my water bottles and the water bladder or whatever you like to call it with water. So that brings additional weight. Also, I have like a few protein bars and stuff like that that I want to take with me. And uh, I'll, I also have this. <laughs> what is a military march without Yalu? I hope this will uh, kind of numb away the pain that I will uh, suffer throughout this day. So yeah. In total, I think we're looking at around 15 to 16 kilograms when I have all the stuff that I need packed into this disgusting piece of a, <coughs> of a pack, backpack. It says that it is preferred if I can produce a track uh, from this whole thing, like a GPS trail or whatever. So I will be tracking myself with my Fitbit Ionic. Uh, I'll check my steps, my routes, all that stuff. I will be recording with this. So, you know, that's also handled. Now, before uh, I have to leave, I want to say a few words about Varos Teleka in general as a company. They are military and outdoor specialists, as they state in the top left-hand corner. Yeah, they sell a lot of uh, military surplus products and a lot of outdoor products as well for a good price. Uh, really dope stuff. If you are into, you know, going outside at all, you should check out their website. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out their inventory. They have a lot of cool stuff for sale. And I think they have the coolest vision in the world. Vision. Total world domination. Varos de Leca is on the next level on this thing. Yeah. But yeah, that's about that. Go check out their, their link in the description. Go check out what they have for sale and uh, cop something if you see something interesting. A few moments later. So I have officially started my march. I have arrived into the Uvascula Harbor and uh, now I will start my leg to, or my trip to Wards Laya, Wards. Yeah. One thing that is worth mentioning is that I have an online lecture today for my university studies. I'm here sitting on Zoom, listening to corporate governance, and my lecture will last for about eh, three hours. So I have interesting stuff to listen to for the next three hours of this journey that we are taking. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and A's. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the, flipping the, flipping the. These buildings over here are referred to as the DDR buildings. They're just this 
brick cubes that have horrendous graffitis on them. We're getting closer to La Yabori, closer to the first off-road section of this uh, march. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, DDR buildings. Skip! I have arrived into the intersection of paved and unpaved road. I already had to resort to a power bank. My phone is currently at 8% battery. And it's only 20 to 11. So I definitely need two power banks for this trip. So I've just made it to the first like major spot during this hike. I made it on top of La Yavori, which gives me a very good view over Uvascula in general. The sun is shining. Everything is fucking fabulous. I'll take my first swig of Yalo on top of Uvascula. Cheers. Let me tell you something. This bag sucks so much. My shoulders are already killing me. I'm only like just about seven kilometers in. So I have 18 kilometers to go. Ah, God damn it. What did I get myself into? <laughs> so this is the end of my off-road uh, section of the march. I'm about to enter on paved road right there. Fuck. <laughs> to be honest, this whole social distancing thing is super easy in Finland if you live outside of the Helsinki region. Like, I'm walking here. Like, there's fucking nothing. There's no one. I've seen a few cars. Other than that, nothing. Man, <laughs> like I'm telling myself that I cannot go outside because I'm supposed to be social distancing. It doesn't matter if I go outside. There's no one here. <laughs> so I just uh, passed the 10 kilometer mark. I'm having a very short break, eating a quest, quest bar, is it? Yeah, quest bar. And uh, letting my feet have a very small rest. At this point, I want to make a huge shout uh, to Varus uh, this is from their uh, official Instagram account, they, their, their CEO uh, did an IG live. The dude does 50 kilometers today and 50 kilometers tomorrow in the Corona division. Absolute mad lad. Yeah, but yeah, quest bar and uh, then I'll continue my march. Gang gang. <laughs> Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got up price to y'all. Snake eyes on dice to y'all. Shoulders on ice to y'all. A6 all the hay. I woke in a ball today. Got lost in the ball and A's. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the all record all record. I still count. Right now I am as far away as I can from my goal uh, point, so to say. Um, I'm just over halfway through my 25 kilometer march uh according to my fitbit i'm 14 kilometers in and uh yeah i'm feeling good my feet are definitely starting to feel something uh walking on pavement with these shoes is not the best <laughs> not the best idea um probably should have picked another, another pair of shoes but it is what it is uh i don't care uh i'm in a good mood my next checkpoint is around nine kilometers away. So by the time when I get there, um, I'm way past the 20K mark and I'm pretty close to my goal. Uh, looking forward to that. Um, I'm in a good spirit. I'm gonna take a short breather, let my uh, feet rest for a bit, uh, eat a few quest bars and uh, listen to some tunes. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Fuck out the back, 
Brody Platt, but get a whack. Contract, give me the max. I got that on my back. You ain't that, then it's scratch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, we ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, bad on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to make no time to waste. Not much left. Uh, <laughs> no cap. My my feet started to hurt so bad, so I had to ask for a pair of NMDs to substitute for uh, the combat boots. But yeah, according to my Fitbit, I'm currently on 24.84 kilometers, so 150 meters away from my 25 kilometer goal. Uh, yeah, my feet hurt so bad. This backpack is an absolute piece of shit. My shoulders hurt so bad. I'm so broken. My body is telling me, hey, JJ, fuck you. You're a piece of shit. I guess I am. <laughs> but anyway, I'm almost done. So close, so close. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> So I have officially arrived back into the harbor of Yuvascula. I'm absolutely fucked. <laughs> but I'm going to stop my Fitbit now. Let's see what the end result was. Nice. Twenty-five kilometers done. Ten kilogram backpack done. Off-road, paved road done. March done. Now I will give you a very short product review of the Vesh Mesh Hawk. Look at this. This is shit, fam. Carrying a six kilogram kettlebell and one kilogram of sugar in this is hands down, without a doubt, the dumbest thing I have done ever. <laughs> I, I mean, it's a good meme. I, I get it why you want to buy it. It's absolutely horrible. <laughs> in Finnish, varusteleka actually refers to that sack, piece of shit, whatever you want to call it. Varustelaka refers to it as the suffering backpack. And I 100% understand why. I mean, I can't even lift up my hand <laughs> right now because my traps <laughs> are just so broken. <laughs> Fuck. Don't take this on a hike. Leave it home in the darkest corner of the house where it belongs. Big ups for Varusteleka for coming up with this event. I had a blast. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment down below. I love Veshmeshak and uh, subscribe for more content in the future. Yay! Hit the bell too if you, if you are one of those people. Go check out Varusteleka, link in the description. Have a great day. I right, peace. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a price on y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. Ace.